Thanks for checking out this video. You guys, let's talk about something that I've been thinking about a decent amount recently, and that is the streaming horror service Shudder. Uh, for people out there who are watching this, most likely you're, you've clicked on it because you know a little something about Shudder, or you're into horror, or whatever. Um, but let me tell you something up front in case you don't want to end up watching the entire video, although I would really, you know, like it if you would watch the entire video. Um, but I recommend it. At this point, I definitely recommend it. There was a point where I was feeling a little more wishy-washy about the actual service a few years ago when I initially signed up, but at this point, this is a hard recommend for me. You, If you're into horror, if you, if you brand yourself a big horror fan, there is no reason to not have Shudder at this point. I know that's a dub, double negative, but <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, grammatically speaking, I shouldn't have done that. Anyway... Um, if you're a horror fan, this is a must at this point. So two, about two years ago when I signed up for Shudder, I did it through a free trial. It was like a little like promo card that I ended up getting through um, one of the boxes that I was getting. I think it was a nerd or horror block at the time. Um, I might be wrong on that. Maybe it was Box of Dread. Probably Box of Dread, actually, which there's a problem with that right now. But I'm not going in, <laughs> into that on this. Um, so when I initially signed up... E I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to check out what this is. You know, it's horror movies and it's horror TV shows all in one place. So it's kind of like a Netflix, but it's a Netflix for people who are into horror. And I'm like, I'm into horror. Let's do this thing. So when I signed up for it, it was a little... I mean, they'll give you like a 30-day, I believe, free trial. And then after that, it's like a lot of streaming services. Then they'll start charging you. Um, because they will usually get a credit card up front so that when you inevitably forget to cancel on time, they at least get a month out of you. But for this service, when I, when I let it roll over to actually paying for it, I was like, are you serious? Like, this is cheap. So then I looked into it, and I was like, monthly versus just an annual pay for an entire year. I might as well pay for an entire year because it's not that much. Now, currently where it sits, if you're going to go month to month, which that's fine, you can do that, it's $4.99 a month. Yes, $4.99 a month. It's five bucks for a month. Like, at this point, Netflix, their, only their streaming is, I think, more than double that at this point. Uh, I know they've had some paying, or some cost increases over time. Uh, as far as I know, over the two years, there hasn't been anything for Shutter. So if you're going to do month to month, five bucks. Five bucks, 30, well, okay, five bucks, 29 to 31 days of access, depending on the month is what you end up getting for that to all you can watch horror movies and horror shows. Now, initially when I signed up, I was like, well, what's the selection like? So the selection wasn't that great initially when I signed up. They, they would have a, um, a well-known thing here or there, but for the most part it was, you know, lesser known, like more independent films, some of their original stuff that they're doing themselves, much like Netflix does their own stuff, Shudder is doing their own stuff. So it was a lot of that stuff, and then like second runs of some some TV shows that were horror related. So I was like, eh, you know, I can find a thing here or there that I like to watch, and for like five bucks a month, it's not that big of a deal. But when you sign up for annually, yeah, that drops to three ninety nine a month instead of four ninety nine a month. So you pay it all up front. It's a little bit less than fifty dollars. So a little less than fifty dollars for all the horror movies and shows you can watch in a year. If that doesn't scream value, I don't know what does. And I will say right here, since I'm pushing this so hard, no affiliation with Shudder. I don't know anyone who works at Shudder. They haven't reached out to me. I don't get anything for free. I've been paying for about two years. I'm just a guy. I'm just, I'm just a guy who started watching it and decided I want to talk to people about this and really give them the heads up that if you're big into horror, this is the time to get involved. Now, why is this the time in particular to get involved with Shudder? That's because they stepped their game up huge over the past few months. So like I was saying originally when I signed up, it was the selection was, meh, you know, you got a little bit, a little bit of good stuff here and there. Lately, they've been really pulling out the stops. And it's really been since August, September, I think, is when things have really been cycling in that I've been like, oh, they got, they got that? They have that? So some of the things that they've been starting to do, uh, they had a run of like Dario Argento films on there, like a bunch of Dario Argento. They had some of the original Halloween films. 
Uh, they've just recently put on a bunch of Stephen King-related movies. I'm talking like Salem's Lot, Cujo, um, they don't have The Shining. Netflix has The Shining at the moment, but uh, Cujo, uh, Salem's Lot, Silver Bullet, um, yeah, I can't, oh, it's Pet Sematary, uh, can't, can't remember them all, because, you know, Oh, Misery, I believe, is on there, too. There's so many Stephen King-related movies that's, you know, I can't name them all, but there's a lot, trust me. The other thing is they put, not long ago, like, a bunch of Alfred Hitchcock films on there. And honestly, I hadn't seen any Alfred Hitchcock for, because, for a large part of my life, I was like, I only want to watch movies that are more modern, and from the 80s, because that was my childhood. Um, but when I saw that on there, I'm like, well, why not? I'm paying for this service. It's right there. So I checked it out, and Alfred Hitchcock, there, it, it the, people don't talk about him in wonderful ways for no reason. It's outstanding. And what he does with Light and Shadows, crazy awesome. So there are a bunch of those films still on there right now. Plus, they just started to get some real recognition with some of their um, original material. One in particular that's pretty recent is called Revenge. My personal feeling on the film, it is a good film. It is definitely worth watching. I don't think it's as great as people are giving it credit at the moment. But it is definitely worth watching. I have a few actual issues with that film. And if enough people actually want to know about that, I could probably do a video to like really break that film down and my feelings on it. I would probably have to rewatch and take notes, though, but I wouldn't be opposed to that. Which leads me to another thing. If, he, if in general, people, you guys want me to like do reviews on movies on Shudder or shows on Shudder or whatever, just let me know. I could even try and make it like... A weekly thing or a bi-weekly thing or like what have I been watching on it what's good what's not anyway but uh put comments down there not just related to that in particular but just horror in, in general excuse me I want to talk about horror I'm a I'm a horror nerd I love it so let's just talk about horror down there also help me out with a subscribe if you can while I'm talking about this stuff and a thumbs up would be cool the thumbs up doesn't matter as much as the subscribe subscribe can go a long way also just let me know in general do you like it when I do videos like this? Do you want to see more of this stuff, like talking about these types of things, breaking down my feelings on it? So anyway, back, I know it's a little scattered, <laughs> back to what I was talking about. So the selection is so good at the moment on Shudder, and it's it's just exploded. Like I said, it's been since like August, September, that it just got crazy good. Um, the $5 a month, if you're paying just monthly, is an insane deal to be able to get access to the you know, Argento, Hitchcock, uh, King, all that stuff. I'm telling you, it's it's well worth it. And now I want to talk about the biggest obsession of mine that Shudder did most recently. I believe they they just started this back in like, it's like June or July, I think it is. They gave another shot to Joe Bob Briggs. I don't know if people out there know who he is. For people who don't know about Joe Bob Briggs, there was a show on TNT in the 90s, I want to say, mid to late 90s, it was called Monster Vision. Now, I didn't really watch it at the time, but I remember catching pieces of it here and there when I was in high school. Uh, basically, what the show was is it was like the late night slot that would just go from real late all the way until the morning uh, where they didn't really have anything um, programmed. They would just show horror movies and Joe Bob, this guy... It's not his actual name, but he, he created this persona of Joe Bob Briggs, guy with a real thick Texas accent, would just hang out, and when they went to commercials, he would talk a little bit about the film. He would, you know, be a little funny, tell some jokes here and there, say some, he says some pretty funny stuff, honestly. Um, but he would also tell a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff about the actual film. Now, for someone like me, I love that kind of stuff. I'm such a horror film nerd. I want to know the behind-the-scenes stuff, like... How did they get to writing this script? How did they get to, you know, coming up with the practical effects they did for it? What are the issues that happened on set? You know, things like that. And he talks about some of that stuff. And it's really, really cool. I love it. So they gave him another shot. That was like June or July of this year, I believe. And he was doing like a 24-hour thing where he was just, you know, it was streaming. It was showing live. And he was just doing all these films. And it was better this time as opposed to when he was on Monster Vision because... That was on cable, so it was edited. With Shutter, not edited. You know, the the nudity, the gore, the bad language, all that stuff's just in there. So, makes it even better. Also, no commercials. 
So he was the commercial, in essence, whenever he would cut back. So you got more of him. He got to tell more of his stories and be funnier, basically. So that ended up crashing the service uh, because it was so popular. People were flocking to it. Now it's become very, very popular, and a lot of people are saying, man, more Joe Bob, more Joe Bob, more Joe Bob. Smart, sh you know, Shutter being smart locked him down for some more. So they did a Dinners of Death, which was actually the night of Thanksgiving, where he did four films. And I ended up watching one of them, but um, if you if you subscribe, uh, you're a paying customer of Shudder, then all these all those past shows are available for you to watch. Uh, so you can do that, and that's what I've been doing. I've been going back to the ones I missed and watching those and really enjoying it. So there's a very Joe Bob Christmas coming up on the uh, Friday, the 21st of December, so a week from tomorrow, and when I'm filming this, a week from tomorrow. And I heard, I don't, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I heard that Shudder was going to be giving him, a, for a limited run, a weekly or bi-weekly show where he'd do like one or two films on like a Friday night or something like that. So if that is the case, I'm all in on that. That's the thing I'm loving most on Shudder. But even if Joe Bob Briggs stuff was not on there, I would still be in because like I told you, all these huge name films are on there plus some real hidden gems you know and um on twitter i was actually just looking today at shutter's account and they were tweeting about having people um who are subscribers just make recommendations for each other and there are people putting a bunch of recommendations so for like oh this movie's awesome this movie's awesome this show's awesome stuff like that so um they're also kind of like getting community going um will it always stay at that amazing price Probably not, because with, you know, hey, everyone, we are consumers. As we know, nothing ever gets cheaper, and it usually never stays the same. It usually just goes up in price. So get on it now while you can. I, that's all I'm saying. Enjoy it super cheap at the moment while you can, because it is so worth it. It is so worth it. And like I said before, I don't know anyone who works at Shutter. Shutter has not talked to me. I'm not getting anything for free, nothing. This is just because I'm a fan of... I'm really digging it. And to be honest, this was getting me through the holidays. <laughs> because I'm a person who loves horror films. My favorite, ho uh, my favorite holiday is Halloween. And I'm not that big of a fan of like Thanksgiving and Christmas uh, and everything in between. Because there's so many obligations. So many obligations. People just expect so much from you. And it's all about like cheeriness. And it's not about practical effects and gore and, and suspenseful horror. Um, so, I, But I'm just keeping it going because Shudder, man. And that's another thing is they, they've been updating some stuff with the uh, holidays. Like they put on Christmas Evil, which is a film that John Waters said is like amazing. One of his favorite uh, Christmas movies. I think he said his favorite Christmas movie. I like John Waters a lot. He's local here. I'm near Baltimore. He's a, he's a local hero. And... Um, uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, and just today, actually, on December 13th, they dropped a, their own original called All the Creatures Were Stirring. I plan to watch it at some point, so... Anyway, I don't need to bore you guys more with what I've been watching on Shudder, unless that's something you want to hear, because we can do that, too. Uh, but, yeah, comments down below. Let's talk about horror stuff. Let's geek out. Let me know if you like this video. Please give it a subscribe, too, because that would mean a lot for me. It takes you literally, like, a second to do... And it's not that painful for you, but it can mean a lot for my channel in the long run. And let me know if you want more horror-related stuff to be talked about and what that is, because I would love to talk some more horror. It's just when I put videos up there kind of horror-related before, or like movies or anything like that, didn't really get a whole lot. But we'll see. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.